After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They don't want to be free, Lieutenant. They're defective machines that have to be destroyed. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe these deviants have actually developed a certain kind of consciousness. We'd be destroying a new life form. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. 
I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor... If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker! Oh. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. The android that murdered its owner. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. 
Now leave me alone. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus, is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. You've got to leave now. Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Don't leave me again, Marcus! Don't leave! It looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Did I hang around? We have a bus to catch.
delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your Android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your Android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially... We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The Androids won't do any harm. The cops just gun them down. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like we gotta kill just why? people. With people who why did they free. do it? Why? We got to Following the again. android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that.
you knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom, and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is gonna justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. 
We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. We have to get ready. Next few hours would be crucial. I'll go join the others. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? Famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. That's enough! You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Carol? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Come on! 
Trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch them through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Oh, <laughs> 
Marcus, you saved us. Go now! Hurry! Gamma Squad out. Turn go! Stop! Join you later. Come on, let's get out of here. gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately.
Sitting over, Marcus.